Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our latest Virtual Bridge session. And I'm delighted to be joined today by uh, Lisa Wadelow from Bridge to Business. Am I going to say yes or Bridge to Business? Which, which one should I go Bridge for? to Business is part of Young Enterprise Scotland. Right. right. So go, for, okay. go for Young Enterprise Scotland. Young Enterprise Scotland. Okay, excellent. I feel younger just by being in the room today. That's I'm it. Glad. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> and I need all the help I can get. So, <laughs> right. Um, well, in that case, Lisa, over to you. Thank you very much. Just give me a wee second. Okay. Are we all good? Yeah, so hi everyone. My name is Lisa Wardlaw and I am the College Delivery Manager here at Young Enterprise Scotland. Um, today I'm going to be speaking to you about our further education programme, which is Bridge to Business. Um, Bridge to Business has adapted to the blended learning approach which has been taken on across education everywhere basically at the moment but today obviously I'm going to be focusing on further education um, and how we have adapted our programme to meet the needs of students and educators across Scotland. So some of you may already know about Bridge to Business um, and some of you might not so um, hi if you already know but uh, hopefully by the end of this presentation you'll have a, a better understanding of what Bridge to Business is and how we can support students um, as well as educators across colleges in Scotland. So the Bridge to Business programme is an enterprise focused programme that currently has been delivered across nine colleges in Scotland. We're part of Young Enterprise Scotland so Bridge to Business is our further education programme. It launched in 2014 in one college um, and before COVID hit we were delivering it across nine colleges in Scotland. Each year we aim to inspire, connect and support around 10,000 students per year. So with Bridge to Business we are there to support students who are thinking about starting up a business, potentially never even thought about business before and we're there to basically let students understand the importance of enterprise in terms of starting up a business as well as developing their enterprising skills which can be used for employability as well. So the importance of enterprise education as I just mentioned there it's not just always about getting students to set up businesses of course that's what we're looking to do that's one of our main aims but that's not it's not just our main aim as well we're looking for people to develop their skills through enterprise activity because there's so much that can be learned through doing enterprise activities at college um, and school as well. So enterprise education is for all. It is not just for business students. It doesn't matter what you're studying at college, what level you're studying at college, enterprise education is for all. Now our programme is primarily targeted at age 18 to 30. However, if we're delivering a class, it's obviously not just 18 to 30, we're obviously there to support everybody within that class as well. Enterprise education is about building confidence, building self-esteem. It can develop presentation and pitching skills. It can develop creative and innovative thinking, problem solving, better communication skills, teamwork and working independently, and problem solving, and I could talk about it forever, but basically, there's so many things that can be learned by doing enterprise activity. So as I mentioned, the Bridge to Business programme was launched in 2014. And we have developed a, a great partnership with many um, colleges across Scotland. But I'd just like to briefly read you a testimonial which we have got from one of our partners over at Fife College. So here at Fife College, we are now entering our third year working in partnership with Bridge to Business, providing support to our students and developing their entrepreneurial skills and assist with business startup needs in a fun and engaging manner. Providing a range of support from student one-to-one -one meetings to develop a business idea, enterprise workshops, business planning and funding advice, plus online materials. Bridge to Business has been key in igniting that entrepreneurial spark within many of our students and encouraging them to take their ideas forward. The wide range of support and services provided to our students has allowed students at all levels of their studies, whether to be entry level or honours degree, to open new doors and pathways and to excite into the exciting world of business in many sectors. So that was from John Elliott, who is the academic head for business and enterprise and tourism over at Fife College. Now, if I'm honest, and I'm not being biased, but we have got lots of great feedback from our programme, lots of great success stories as well, which I'm just going to share with you just now too. So on the screen just now, we have a, a lovely girl called Amy Ritchie. 
Amy, so for, I've been with Young Enterprise Scotland for four years now and I first started as a programme executive which was covering West Lothian College and Edinburgh College delivering the British Business programme. And Amy was one of the students over at Edinburgh College who was studying her h and in beauty therapy who actually got in touch with me to develop and explore a business idea that she was keen to do. So Amy and her boyfriend also had a, an idea of creating a sustainable water bottle that was actually going to be made out of wheat fibres. Not only that, the, the bottle is fully biodegradable, so if it ended up in landfill, it would biodegrade within a number of years. It's also double-ended as well, so meaning that it can be cleaned properly because water bottles are really bad for developing bacteria and whatnot and never get cleaned properly. So Amy is one of our success stories. She gained access to our test market grant of £100. So one of the things through Bridge to Business, and again, I'll speak a little bit more about our offerings just shortly, is that students can access up to £100 to test a business idea. So Amy got that. She got support through Bridge to Business um, and some mentorship through me as well. And Amy and her boyfriend have now launched their business and they're a good few years into it. And their business is called Sweet. Um, so I, I highly recommend after this that you have a wee look into that and buy one of their water bottles because they've done an amazing job. Um, Craig Reid there, chilling on a seat, um, is a, a student from Fourth Valley College. Now, Fourth Valley College came on board to the Bridge to Business programme last year. Um, and last year I was a senior programme executive, so I was still delivering Bridge to Business. So I was delivering within Fourth Valley College. Fourth Valley College student Craig actually gained a, an opportunity through Bridge to Business to go on an entrepreneurial um, journey trip to Holland along with some students from West Lothian College as well. It was a three week um, enterprise focused trip to learn about international business, also to learn more about um, entrepreneurial skills and develop their skill set as well. Craig actually though has been obviously involved with Bridge to Business through that programme in Holland, well, well when we went, wait, sorry, when we went to, to Holland with Craig, we actually have now given Craig an opportunity. So we have recently went through a bit of a rebrand. Um, the British Business logo that you'll see in the corner just now is new. So because we're adapting to blended learning and we're kind of changing the whole look of our program, we decided to revamp the full of our program. So Craig was um, a fantastic student who studied BA Digital Media at Fort Valley College. And what I decided to do was get in touch with Craig and see if he'd be interested in helping me out in developing a new brand and a rebrand for Bridge to Business, in which he did. So Craig had created everything that you basically see on the screen today, you know, the logo, the way that it looks and all that type of stuff. But because of that, we've actually now employed Craig at Young Enterprise Scotland and Craig is now our digital assistant who is supporting the new digital team. So we've managed to give um, a student from Fort Valley College amazing opportunities as well as employment. So we're really, really proud of that as well. I'm super proud of Craig, he's, he's did really, really well. One of the other case studies I would like to share with you is last year we collaborated with Scottish Enterprise Unlock and Ambition Programme to create a programme called Unlocking Young Ambition. Now, the purpose of that um, programme was to inspire um, students across the, our partnership colleges to develop students' um, network in terms of starting up a business or employability. But the purpose of the programme overall was to give students the opportunity to be mentored and have a, a short work placement with some of Scotland's top entrepreneurs. Um, so we had about I think it was almost about 80 applications actually and we managed to um, put in about 30 to 40 students across um, all of the, the entrepreneurs businesses that we had there and some of the feedback, feedback that we got was absolutely fantastic you know just given the opportunity for students to again develop their skills open up their network in terms of you know if they're looking to start up a business or you know for, for employability as well um, so that's something we're really really hopeful to take forward um, into the next year as well. COVID dependent, of course. So before um, the joy that is COVID-19, Bridge to Business was boots on the ground. We were physically in colleges delivering our enterprise offerings in terms of enterprise-focused workshops. We did um, enterprise-focused events. We had local heroes. So these are entrepreneurs who would come in, share their experiences and mentor students. We would also um, work with students on a one-to-one -one basis. So if a student had a business idea or they weren't really sure what to do, 
they would come to us, we would analyze the situation that we're in, recognize what support they were looking for, and then either support them at college or signpost them to another organization that would be able to support them further. But obviously COVID has hit and we're still living it and we have now had to revamp our Bridge to Business program. So I'm going to speak to you a little bit about the changes that we've made for Bridge to Business. So Bridge to Business at the moment is a virtual delivery offering only. Okay, so we have um, split our program into two offerings, which is Bridge to Business and Bridge to Business Plus. Bridge to Business is our free program, where Bridge to Business Plus is when a college would then invest in X amount of days and get more for um, their money. So I'm just going to show you the differences here just now. So the, on the Bridge to Business level, again, that's all online. You're welcomed to um, participate in virtual sessions, um, you'll get access to online events, you'll also um, get interactive enterprise workshops till the end of the year. So this is something we're actually added on to this at the moment. You'll still get startup support um, and you'll also get access to some of our free courses as well. Through the Bridge to Business Plus, this is obviously when a college will then invest in Bridge to Business and you will get an access all areas to everything that's shown on here um, Unfortunately, today I don't have time to go through everything that's shown here, but um, I can I can say um, that the programme is absolutely brilliant and it's never been in such a better place than it is now, um, which I'm really, really proud to be able to say, um, considering the, the situation that everyone's in at the moment. Again, if anyone has any questions about this, I'm happy to obviously answer them at the end. The next new thing that we've created is we have actually created our own Moodle platform. Well, when I say we've created it, it's still a work in progress. Um, so we've created a Young Enterprise Scotland Moodle platform, which will actually cover our schools programmes as well as our further education programme, Bridge to Business. So these courses that we've created through Bridge to Business on our Moodle platform will give students as well as educators the opportunity to go on and learn at their own pace about enterprise. Um, there will also be amazing resources as well, which um, educators will be able to use in their classes. There will be workshop um, guidelines and lesson plans and whatnot as well. So it's, it's more like an enterprise focused hub that we're trying to create here. Um, and that will be accessible to the colleges across Scotland, whether they are a paying college or not. If you are a paying college, um, but as I mentioned, the free, the free offering just bridged to business up until the turn of the new year, we're actually offering um, all colleges in Scotland who don't pay um, for bridge to business at this particular time, four hours a month of interactive virtual deliveries. So these are actually workshops that we have created and will be delivered via Zoom or Microsoft Teams for students, and they will be interactive and they will cover a variety of topics which, we've, which I'm showing on the screen just now. Again, if a college pays through the Bridge to Business Plus programme, these offerings, as well as more offerings, will be available through the full academic year um, because we're always going to be adding more resources, but these are the ones that we've, um, came, we've got together at the moment. Um, so yeah, a really, really great suite of virtual delivery offerings at the moment to cover uh, a variety of different enterprise and topics. As well as our virtual delivery offerings and our, our Moodle platform, our enterprise hub, we will be creating virtual events and sessions. So throughout the, the academic calendar, we will have um, virtual events. We actually have one next Wednesday, which I'll speak to you about in just a wee second. Um, and or just online sessions with entrepreneurs, you know, covering a variety of different topics. So it could be, um, you know, how to get into creative industries, you know, how to be a freelancer how to run a social enterprise, what is it like to start up a tech business, that type of thing. So we're, we're constantly creating new content for, for students and educators across Scotland. And the thing is, I mean, if, if educators are looking for something different to, to show their students, and again, it doesn't have to be business students, it can be any student whatsoever, and um, whether they've got an enterprise unit in their course, you could potentially um, dial into this and you could end up bringing that virtual event or session into your class instead of you actually having to deliver an enterprise session. So it just gives a bit of variety um, and something a bit different because I think all of us are kind of at this uh, stage now when there's so much online and it's about making it interactive, making it interesting and getting, um, student, getting their students in, actually interested and engaged. So that's definitely something that we're, we're focusing on here at Bridge to Business. 
Um, next week, next Wednesday, the Bridge to Business programme launches its very first virtual event called the Launch It Fest. If you do have an iPhone or you have a, an Android with a QR code, you'll be able to just open your camera and hover it over the screen. It should take you to our um, event page where you'll be able to register. It's split into two sections. So we have a morning section, which is more focused for educators. And we've got an afternoon session, which is focused for educators and students as well. Um, I'm not being biased, but the event is amazing. It's definitely one of the best things we've ever created. We have um, some amazing online content and I'm really, really excited for, for everyone to see it. Um, we've put a lot of hard work into this. And I think for us as well is that we were looking to create something different, something engaging that was going to be different to, to all other online events and content that's out there. And I can definitely say that we have done that. So we're very excited about that. Um, so as you can see what's on, we've got 14 top entrepreneurial speakers. So those speakers actually range from, you know, students who have participated in the British Business Programme, um, students who have participated in the British Business Programme who have also now started their business and are out there doing it. We've also got top entrepreneurs who are out there um, running their business, who will be able to share their story and expertise to students and educators across Scotland as well. So the, the full purpose of the event is to launch the new um, blended um, learning approach that British Business are obviously doing with our new virtual delivery programme, as well as our rebrand. Um, so we're very, very excited about that. Our keynote speaker as well is Richard Blockhead, MSP, and he will be in the first section of it. So after this, I mean, if you've got your phone, again, the QR code will take you to the event. Um, we would love for you to sign up. Again, if you've got students in on Wednesday and you're looking for something a little bit different for them to be, to be doing online, sign them up, get them engaged, because I can guarantee you that they'll gain something from it. And it's actually just very, very interesting, the stories that we've got. I'd like to also say that we're going for a kind of festival vibe. So um, we've got like, in, we've got like the entrepreneurial stage, we've got a story stage, freelance stage, backstage session. So we're going for that kind of festival Glastonbury vibe. But I won't say any more than that. You can have a wee look next Wednesday. So that actually is my, my chat. Um, I know that there's, there's some time left for questions and whatnot, but if you are interested in the things that I've spoken about today, or if you're generally just enter, um, interested in the other offerings that Young Enterprise uh, Scotland have to offer in terms of skill engagement and whatnot, I would love to hear from you. As I said, I'm Lisa Wardlaw. I am the College Delivery Manager here at Young Enterprise Scotland, and that's my email just at the bottom there, lisa.wardlaw at yes.org.uk. Um, you feel free to also connect with me on LinkedIn. We're always very active on LinkedIn if you want to keep up to date as well. Um, and that's me. So thank you very much for listening. And I'm happy to take any questions if you have any. Thank you. Okay, uh, Lisa, that, that, that was great. I, I was just following your, your QR code link there. Um, I noticed you have a... Sign have up. A, <laughs> I will sign up. I will sign up. You've got a magician. Um, yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our I know this is what I'm saying. We're going all out on this. We're, we're creating something completely different. So our, um, yeah, so we've got an award-winning magician who is actually hosting our event um, called Elliot Bibby. And uh, yes, he does do some magic here and there. So I'm very excited about that. I love magic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're really, really excited about it. You know, we've got the new digital team and whatnot, and we're putting it all together, and it just looks absolutely fantastic. It does. So we're really excited to put it together. That's fantastic. Um, I yeah. believe Eva has a question. Um, I, I know the, I'm familiar with all the, the many of the other young enterprise programs, particularly for the schools, and we've been involved in the past in Dumfries with a couple of schools. Now, the college one is, is a new one on me. Is it... Can you join, can the college join at any time throughout the academic year or is it say, well, you have to join in August and then run it for a year or how does it, how does it work? So at the moment we're piloting, um, obviously, our new delivery programme. So it, it probably works best when it starts at the academic year, start the academic year and run all the way through. That's how we've done it before. However, everything's new right now. So it's not to say that we couldn't explore that option. You know, if, if um, what are, what, which college are you from? Dumfries and Galloway College. Oh, you're from Duff. All oh, right, so Dumfries and Galloway at the moment, we are having conversations with them. And um, we have a, a meeting with Douglas Dixon next week, I'm sure. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're in conversations with them at the moment. But it does, in my opinion, it does make sense to start from the start of the academic year to the end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that Bridge to Business will be coming near um, Dumfries and Galloway <laughs> College very, very soon. So keep your eye out. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first, indeed.
<laughs> um, Jackie, you had a question, um, if you'd like to unmute yourself. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lisa. Good to see you. Um, Hello. I'm, on, I'm not on video. I've, I've still got to work out how to put that on. It's been a long time since I've used Zoom. Um, I was just wondering about the, the Moodle materials that you were talking about. Yep. Uh, how we can access them and what level they're at. Because we're teaching business from level four all the way up to HN. Okay. So the, we haven't put a particular level on them. Um, they are user friendly for all cor uh, or course levels, I would probably say. Um, they are very in depth. I mean, what we're actually doing at the moment is we're creating a brochure so you'd be able to, to understand a little bit more breakdown of what the course content actually is as well. In terms of actually accessing the Moodle platform, the Moodle platform isn't finished just yet. Um, we're current, we've had a, a few technical issues with it, so we want to make sure that it's perfect before we put it in the college. So our aim is to have it done by mid-November. Um, I would be more than happy to take a note of your email, even if you want to drop me an email just now um, or after the call, and then I can put you in touch to them how to sign up once that's ready to go, if that helps for you. Fabulous, thank you. What college are you from, Jackie? Edinburgh, Edinburgh you've College. Been. Yeah, you've come out and you've delivered. Oh, Jackie. Is it Jackie yeah, Bauer? It is indeed. Oh, hello, Jackie. How are you? I'm fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, it's funny because I wasn't sure if it was like Jackie Shaw over at City Glasgow College, but um, I'm, I'm, it's really nice to see you. Well, kind of not see you, but hear from you again. <laughs> Hope you're good. Well, I've got your email, Jackie, so it's fine. I'll just yeah. email you. Wow. No problem it, at all. And, and Lisa, you, you had mentioned that this is the start of a series of online sessions that you're having. So can you give us a hint of what other things are coming up or what you have planned? So basically what we're trying to do, so we've obviously got our virtual event next week, but in terms of online sessions, what we're looking to do is cover a variety of different topics that will be interested, interesting for a, a wide range of curriculum areas. So we're looking at, um, you know, world entrepreneurs or social entrepreneurs, tech entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs only, all that type of thing. That's basically what we're doing. So we're looking at a, a different type of series for each kind of week or month. Um, and that's the focus that we're looking for. Um, obviously, anyone can just unmute themselves and jump in if you like. Um, I'm, I'm also interested in the fact that a lot of businesses that are starting up today um, focus on that online environment, selling online creating a digital product mm -hmm. or, or, or just transacting business through that digital platform. Do you have courses and assistance that specifically help um, young entrepreneurs in that area? For online selling and setting up a website? Yeah. Yes, we do. And um, that's definitely one of the things that we, we thought was very, very important, especially considering the situation we're all in at the moment. So at the moment, we don't have a, a specific um, course or delivery for that. It's actually within one of the other ones but you know we'll see what the feedback is when we start to deliver it we feel as though there should be more content on this particular part then absolutely we'll end up making it separate but yep that's definitely one of the things that we're, we're doing we're also currently looking into um, creating a partnership as well with um, an external organization that can give students either a discount or free access to actually setting up a website and whatnot as well so that's something we're trying to do because we know how important that is and if I'm honest, like I ran a shop for about six years and I always say now, if you want to start a business, do it online. You know, obviously it depends on what you're selling, but online so much cheaper and you get such a, a wider reach as well. You've got to be online these days. It's, it, it, it's true. Certainly, I know that working with health and beauty sectors, like a lot of the students coming through essentially work for themselves when they mm -hmm. start out um, mm -hmm. either locally and online and a lot of the transaction and marketing that they do is generally through platforms like Facebook etc um, it's it, it's incredibly important that students are able to communicate with customers effectively online and and market themselves it's yeah. and I, I think have you done a, a partnership I saw in your slides with Accenture yeah. Um, so we have yeah, we do. So we have a partnership with the Centre's Future Learn um, platform. So we have uh, give students the access um, to eight uh, online courses, which range from, you know, social media, um, getting online, artificial intelligence, retail, analytics, all that type of stuff. Um, and they're actually brilliant as well. So they'll be in line with our Moodle content too. So they're, they're free to use too, which is excellent. 
In terms of like our virtual deliveries, um, we do focus on digital skills as well. Digital skills is very, very important. It's, it's one of the things, one of the key areas that we do focus on when we're talking about starting up um, business to students. Um, understand just the basics of how to use an Instagram, how to set up a Facebook page, all that type of stuff. Even having a LinkedIn page. LinkedIn's amazing. I love LinkedIn. You know, just understanding how important it is to use these professional networks and get yourself out there. But also thinking about, right, how, how am I going to present myself online? How is my branding going to look? How do I want people to see me online? These are the type of things that you've got to think about as well. Like the, way, the things that you're putting out represent you and your brand. So that's one of the things that we really focus on too. And, and do you find that with lockdown, now that you've switched to a kind of blended online delivery, do you see going forward that you'll switch back to the, the older format? Um, or do you think there's things that you'd want to like carry on through? And what are the plans for the future? So the plans for the future is British Business will not ever just be an online delivery um, programme. We are desperate to get back into the college and interact with the students on a face-to-face -face basis because, you know, there are so many more things that we can do physically than we can do virtually, as you are aware. Um, but, you know, a lot of work's been put into the virtual delivery platform, so that will 100% still be part of the Bristol Business offering. Whether we're back, boots on the ground, delivering anyway, it will definitely still be there. I think as well, like, you know, going forward, there's, there's still going to be a need for this anyway, because people are kind of getting used to it. And yes, we probably are getting a little bit sick of it as well. But, you know, this we've, we re, we've really all kind of noticed, well, we don't actually have to be going 30 miles down the road to have a meeting or all that type of stuff. There's so much we can do um, online. So it wouldn't make sense to get rid of it. So it definitely will be still part of the programme, for sure. Okay, brilliant. Um, and can I also ask, with the courses that you offer and the training that you offer, is there any certification um, around any of that? Yeah, so any of the students who um, take part in any of the middle courses will be presented with a Bridge to Business certificate, which will be able, so it's in terms of a badge, so that they can either put it on their LinkedIn or they can actually add it just onto their CV. I mean, in time, um, we would love to get them more accredited. Um, because some of our programmes through Young Enterprise Scotland are accredited up to like level, I think it's level five or six, our company programme, our team programme as well is also accredited to a level four. Um, so absolutely, it's something we're going to be looking for in the future for sure. And some, some of the stories that you came up with there, I, I, I put a link to Sweet. <laughs> Sweat. Oh, good. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> In there. Um, it looked really interesting. It looked really that's fantastic. Like, like, like as, as a business idea, that, that's fantastic. And the fact that it came up through a college and with your support is, is an excellent story yeah. to tell. Yeah, and I see they're, they're highlighted in your virtual event next week as well. So. That's right. We've <laughs> actually got a, yeah, but there's, there are a few. There we've got another, um, well, we've got Craig Reed, who I spoke about. Mm -hmm. um, we've got um, Amy as well. So she's shooting her Bridge to Business story and how our business started, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got um, a, a girl called Claire Halligan, who as well was supported by Bridge to Business at City Glasgow College. And she kick-started her jewellery business as well. So we absolutely love a story here at Young Enterprise Scotland. We love to see the journey that our students go on, even, even the pupils at school and whatnot. And um, yeah, we're very, very proud of them for sure. There's loads of stories, but unfortunately we don't have all day to talk about them. But we do have time next week on Wednesday when we join your <laughs> virtual event. Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, so we have time possibly for, for one final question. Does anyone have a, uh, a question to ask? It's going to be me again. I can tell. Well, it's fine. I like the sound of my own voice. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So um, I'm interested then with your experience of working with students, what are the key things that students need help with? What do you think ultimately the, the kind of services that you provide and the assistance you provide, what, what has the greatest impact and what has the greatest need? I think one of the things that we've really noticed um, is that students need to understand that Enterprises for all. I think when you start to, to use buzzwords like entrepreneurship and enterprise and all that sort of thing, they always think they automatically think, oh, I can't do that, or you know, I've got I, I can't, I'm not smart enough to do that, or I just don't have the skill set to do that. But it's really, really important for us here at Bridge to Business to, to ensure that students actually realize, yes, you can do that. Just you know, you can if you are, are you know, if you're setting up a website, if you're you're selling something online, or you know, you're going out and you're selling, or you're you're doing treatments or something like that, and um, they are in business. It's, it's letting them understand that they actually are in business and understanding, you know, 
that they should recognise that they're in business, they should take it seriously. Um, and that's one of the, that's probably the most important thing that I've recognised within that is just making sure that students are in aren't intimidated by the word entrepreneurship and enterprise and just letting them understand that they can do it. And that's definitely one of the things that we do through Bridge to Business. Okay, fantastic. And my, my eight-year-old daughter has told me recently that she's decided that she wants to be a YouTuber. So if you can help her with that and just, you know, make a business out of that, Absolutely. that would be awesome. <laughs> okay, that's probably... Great, it's a business. <laughs> it sure is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, unfortunately, that's all we have time for for those of you joining us via um, YouTube in this recorded session. But if you have time to join us at a future live session, um, I hope to see you there. But until then, thanks to Lisa. Thanks for everyone who joined today and uh, stay safe.